Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be explaining you about metals and alloys. So a metal, a pure metal, because it is a solid at room temperature, normally at room temperature the metals are solid and when they are in the solid state the particles are regularly arranged. So because of the regular arrangement it allows the pure metal to be very soft so it's going to be soft it's going to be malleable malleable which means that when you apply a force let's say you apply a force here because the particles are regularly arranged here it will allow the particles to slide over each other and when they slide they're able to change shape without breaking so malleable and ductile malleable means that it can be changed into different shapes without breaking ductile means it can be made into wires without breaking now when metals are mixed Together, when you have a mixture of metals, so you have the formation of an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of metals, or you could also have a mixture of metal, of a main metal, and uh, non metals in it. So you have a small amount of non metals and a main metal in it, or you could have a mixture of metals of several metals and non-metals together. So an alloy is a mixture and in that mixture what happens, so let's say you have metal A, pure metal A and pure metal B that uh, are mixed together to form an alloy. So this is what the structure would be. So the metal B, the particles of metal B kind of fits in between the particles of metal A and disrupts the regular so here it disrupts the regular lattice so regular arrangement is disrupted so regular lattice is disrupted okay so this is the effect of uh, the second metal on a pure metal when you have the formation of an alloy. Now here what happens when you apply a force, this bigger particles, these bigger particles of um, the other metal, it acts kind of like an impurity. So it prevents the layers from sliding because the regular lattice has been disrupted. So metals contain only one type of atom. Alloys or mixtures and will contain at least two different substances and the substances can be metals or non-metals such as carbon. And non-metals have improved, prop sorry, alloys have improved properties over metals. For example, alloys will be harder, will be stronger and will have abilities of uh, resistance to corrosion, so will not rust, for example. So pure iron, for instance, will rust, but uh, stainless steel, for example, stainless steel, this is a form of iron, so the pure metal will be iron, iron rust, but stainless steel, which contains iron, carbon, chromium this does not rust so harder stronger resistant to corrosion but will be less malleable because the layers cannot slide over each other you have two examples of alloys that i've given here where you see brass is made up of copper and zinc stainless steel is made up of iron chromium nickel uh, you can have some amount of carbon, which is also present, a small amount of carbon. And um, you see, brass is much harder than copper, and it does not uh, rust in the sense that it will not corrode. Okay, for example, musical instruments, ornaments, doorknobs, stainless steel does not corrode, and it's used for 
um, car pots, kitchen uh, utensils, sink, cutlery, and tanks in chemical factories. Okay, so these are examples. You have some questions of alloys that you will have to attempt. When metals change shape, atoms actually slip over each other like this. However, this process does not happen all at once, but bit by bit, rather like trying to move a carpet by putting a ruck in it. Here is the way it happens in a metal. You see the slip moving easily one atom at a time where there's a dislocation in the lattice. It is this easy movement of atoms in the crystal lattice that makes most pure metals soft. Now put a smaller or bigger atom into the lattice and this easy movement of the dislocation is blocked. See the way the bigger atom stabilizes the dislocation, which gets no further unless you put greater force, meaning that it's harder to bend the alloy. 